Welcome back to CurtainTheAdies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, The Good, The Bad, and Philosophy. In this video, we're going to be answering the question, what is consequentialism? Now, the other principal deontic theory of ethics, other than deontology, is consequentialism. And these usually are considered the big two. If we expand it to three, we'll include virtue ethics too, but consequentialism and deontology are age-old competitors. As the name suggests, consequentialist theories are concerned with the consequences of particular actions or rules when deciding if they are good or not. In the videos that follow, we will explore several different distinctions within consequentialism and look at one of the most important versions of consequentialism known as utilitarianism, offered by the gentleman shown here, John Stuart Mill. Now, where deontology can be seen as too restrictive, such as not letting us kill one to save five with a trolley running down the tracks out of control, since there is a rule against killing, Consequentialism, on the other hand, is often seen as too permissive, always telling us to kill one to save five, even in extreme cases on the other side, such as killing a healthy patient to donate their organs to five that are dying. Since five alive is better than one, and we're just looking for the best consequences. Just as the onus was on deontology to show that there are some situations where killing or letting die is acceptable, the burden is on consequentialism to demonstrate that there are some situations where saving the many at the expense of the few is unacceptable. And we'll go into some of the different ways that particular theories do that later in this series. But the definition of consequentialism is quite broad. In a future video, hopefully the next video if everything works, we will go into greater detail on all of the different distinctions between types of consequentialism. However, most, if not all, of these distinctions come down to which consequences count towards determining whether or not an action was good. Are they the consequences of the action itself or the consequences of a more general rule? Are they the expected consequences of that action or rule, or are they the actual ones that manifest themselves in the world? Are we counting only pleasure as good or other goods as well? There's a number of other distinctions that we will hopefully get to in a future video. But no matter what, consequentialists are defined and brought together by the claim that the normative status of particular actions is determined in some way by consequences. So, once again to review, deontology, right or wrong action is primary. For example, it's impermissible to commit sexual assault because it is against the rules of morality. And for consequentialism, good bad consequences are primary. Sexual assault brings about a bad state of affairs, therefore it is wrong. So that was what is consequentialism. In this series, we'll also look at utilitarianism, pluralistic consequentialism, and expected consequentialism. And then we'll go into virtue ethics. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay tuned for a special video on consequentialism next week. Stay skeptical, everybody.